this oopsie this early morning let's explore an excerpt from Yong Jia Zhuan Jui's Song of Enlightenment and then let's meditate this is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to Meditate Like a Jedi, brought to you by the kind folks who support this channel on Patreon. This morning, we could chant and meditate and enjoy a lesson or two, but first, if you love Star Wars and you wish to meditate as transformatively as young Luke Skywalker on Dagobah under the guidance of Yoda. Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Good news. If at any point during this morning's live stream you have a specific question about Buddhist meditation or Buddhist philosophy or how to apply them to your life, simply type the, your question, your specific question, in great detail in the chat window on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's chant. We know that shakyas and zendatas all poor in body but not in the Tao. In the poverty they always wear ragged clothing, but they have the jewel of no price treasured within. So, shakya is a reference to Shakyamuni, which is the Mahayana way of saying Gautama. Both are references to the Buddha. So Shakyas, sons and daughters, can be interpreted either as anyone who enthusiastically follows the Buddha's path or someone who has taken vows. We continue with the second couplet, or poor in body but not in the Tao. Uh, judging from the context, this is a reference to monastics who or yogis in the Tibetan tradition, those whose only job is the study and practice, teaching and teaching of the Dharma. Consequently, they live on the generosity of others, which means quite often they have more lack than plenty, physically, corporeally, superficially, but they are rich in Dharma realization. In their poverty, they always wear ragged clothing, but they have the jewel of no price treasured within. So their, not only their knowledge, but their mastery of the Dharma is their greatest treasure. That doesn't mean they won't get cold. That doesn't mean they won't get hungry. But that which brings them the greatest fulfillment is the Dharma. Okay, so let's turn our attention now to the latest iteration of Atisha's concise sadhana or practice text adapted to Manjushri. So there's going to be some low level editing this morning. Let us begin by turning our neural pathways responsible for empathy and enthusiasm simply by performing the following two chants. May I liberate all beings from the tyranny of hating, craving, and clinging by relying on the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. 
May I liberate all beings from the tyranny of hating, craving, and clinging by relying on the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. May I liberate all beings from the tyranny of hating, craving, and clinging by relying on the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. May everyone be free from suffering, may everyone be happy, may no one be separated from the happiness. May everyone have balance from the tyranny of hating, craving, and clinging freed. So real quick, I'm going to make these italic to infer that I these are my adaptations. I do this not to boast, simply because I, I merely do, I want to and share comprehension without deception. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever we notice during our previous inhalation could feel as non graspable as a vast and void. Like the illusion of the infinite azure sky on a beautiful cloudless moon, which although compelling to the eye is non graspable to the hand. Um so bawa shuda sarva dharma so bawa shudoham. Um alpha namana, including myself, a purified of conventional existence. Hum. Everything becomes as non graspable as emptiness. Now let's see here. If I put this here and I revealed the editing marks. There we go, that might be a little easier on the brain. We come now to the first of two silent meditations. This awareness and letting go. This, this awareness and letting go is a mindfulness and meditation are known by many names, such as Zen, Chan, Jhana, Atiyaga, Mahamudra, Dzogchen, and Treksho. And trick shows slice through the duality of dread and desire. So let us emulate the posture uh, captured or typified by this photograph of a wooden statue of the Buddha. Let us cross our legs comfortably, just stacking one shin upon the other and opening not from the knees, but from the hips. Let us rest the, uh, our, ha our hands comfortably in our lap with the edge of each palm pressed gently against our lower belly, inviting us to breathe from that region. Let us find the middle point between our shoulders being hunched all the way forward like Quasimodo or all the way back like a marine at full attention. Um, upon a... Uh, a settled Mona Lisa smile could dance upon the corners of our mouth, the apples of our cheeks, and the crow's feet of our eyes. Let us engage a traction-like pulling motion between our pelvis and our head. As we breathe in, we can silently and mentally recite the demonstrative pronoun Oopsie, I take that back. We can silently and mentally recite the sensory verb watch. As we exhale, we can silently and mentally recite the hyphenated verb relaxing. So here's how it works. During every time we inhale, whether we know it or not, our sympathetic nervous system is wired not to concentrate, but to notice. In what manner to notice? Vulnerably, passively, viscerally, and randomly. During each exhalation, our parasympathetic nervous system is wired to physically relax and mentally release. Perform this easy technique and peace can become more of a reality to you.
Let us continue with our chanting. From the emptiness of his asset, a bubble transforms into a lotus seed. On top of this, a piece of suitable lava transforms into a moon seed the size of a thumbnail. On this, on this, on which this man appears in the form of the orange letter O, the size of a mustard seed. From this orange notable day may light raise it, then make offerings to all the Buddhas for the benefit of all sentient beings. May the rays then re- reabsorb into this mind and thus become the archetype of the gen- uh, and thus become the archetype Manjushri of the gentle voice. His body is orange-colored with one face and two hands. His right hand holds a wisdom sword and his left hand at his heart. Holds between the thumb and ring finger the stem of an upala flower. This blossoms besides his left ear and supports the scripture of the perfection of wisdom sutra of a thousand lines. He sits in the Vajra posture and is on with six and jeweled ornaments. His hair is tied up in a knot, up, in a top knot which tanks you down to his left and he has a peaceful and smiling manner. Though he appears, he lacks graspable existence like a reflection in a mirror. His back rests against a full moon throne. On his forehead is a syllable. On his bladder is a set of on his throat is the set of free. On his navel is a set of and on his tenem is the set of From the stern of whom let raise him at and invoke all the Buddhas of the ten directions, each in the form of Manjushri. Om Benza Samayan Zahum Bam Ho. Let me move this bad boy out of the way. Om Benza Samayan Zahum. Let's see. Zahum Bam Ho. All these Yadams absorb into oneself. Each Buddha in the red hoon in the aspect. Aha. Each Buddha in the re- and the retinue in the aspect of Madhushri now inhabits each of all pools, transforming them into his pure lands, reminding us that we are never separate from his exa- from their examples and teachings. 
again from the seed suitable on his sternum, life resumes, and invoke the five initiating jhana Buddhas. We now recite Om Vajra Samaya and make the request. Please, all Buddhas, bestow on me all empowerments. The Dita Kata Seum Sarva Tata Kata Abhishika Samaya Having spoken thusly, they pour water from a vessel on top of our heads. The water goes throughout our bodies, purifying all bodily defilements. It fills up our bodies to the top of our heads. Then on top of her heads appears a new man, a kaya form of Amitabha. We now come to six figurative offerings of awareness and openness. I offer the experience of wisdom as fragrant yet as non graspable as a void. Om Moju Sri Gande Pati Sahum Soha. I offer the experience of wisdom sights appearing yet as non graspable as a void. Om Moju Sri Adarshe Pati Sahum Soha. I offer the experience of wisdom, taste, flavor, full yet as non graspable as a void. O Manju Sri Rasa Partitsa Hum Soha. I offer the experience of wisdom, sounds resounding yet as non graspable as a void. O Manju Sri Wini Partitsa Hum Soha. I offer the experience of wisdom, thoughts lucid yet as non graspable as a void. O Manju Sri Dharma Partitsa Hum Soha. I offer the experience of wisdom, feelings, and shovel yet as not graspable as a void. O Manju Sri Pashe Pati Tohum Soha. At one's heart on the moon, see there is an orange suitable surrounded by the six suitables, O Mara Patsanandi. Oopsie, let's try that again. At one's heart on the moon seat is an orange suitable surrounded by the six edibles from Marapatsana. From these suitables may rays of light emit and make offerings to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas which become useful for the benefit of all sentient beings. May all the powers, blessings, and love of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas manifest in the form of rays of light, which are absorbed into the mantra rosary encircling the heart seat syllable. We now recite the mantra one hundred and twenty-eight times or as much as possible. Let's bring the four bases of mindfulness into the path 
of love. Now, there is a secret technique. Let me see if I can modify this. Bear with me a moment, please. Okay. So there is a there are two techniques necessary to transform empty headed mantra recitation into spiritually protective mantra contemplation or meditation. And the the, the technique is twofold. Number one, as we exhale, we physically relax as best we can into the recitation of the mantra. Number two as we inhale, we silently and mentally recite a loving intention. Now, this loving intention is six syllables long, but it's cryptic. So we flesh it out in the previous page. Let's chant. May all minds of all beings now be as peaceful and wise as the mind of a Buddha of Lord Simbalas by a one syllable CT clay or bija mantra. Umara Bazana di 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 One moment, if you please. Editing opportunity. Mm, one moment, please.
Let us bring our experience of the interpersonal into the path of love. May all relationships of all beings now be as joyful and loving as a real or imagined Buddhist communication symbolized by this tensitable mantra. May all bodies of all beings now enjoy the beautiful, healthy, picket and Buddhist art of the blissful body of a yidam of four and octave of enlightenment.
Let us bring our experience into, of the circumstantial into the path of love. May all circumstances, all thoughts of all beings now have their safety, good fortune, and boon. As a Buddha's real or imagined paradise, fair land of vanity. Omara bazana di 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 O Mara 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 Bazana di As we relax into our exhalation, whatever we notice during our previous inhalation, good feel is not graspable as a vast empty void, like the illusion of the infinite azure sky. On a bright and beautiful cloudless moon, which although compelling to the eye is not graspable to the hand. Let us bring the circumstantial into the path of letting go. How is it that as we inhale our circumstances could appear quite vivid, yet as we relax into our exhalation they could feel as not graspable as a real or imagined paradise or body of light?
Umara bazana di 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 Omara 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 bazana di How is it that as we inhale our bodies, our palms get feel quite sensual? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, they could feel as not graspable as a real or imagined octopal yidam of light. Omara bazana di 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 Umara 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 bazana di How is it that as we inhale the interpersonal experience of communication, all speech could be quite resounding? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, it could feel as non graspable as a real or imagined mantra of light.
Umara Bazanari, Umara Bazanari, Umara Bazanari, Umara Bazanari. Umara Bazanari, Umara Bazanari, Umara Bazanari, Umara Bazanari. Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi. Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi. Let us bring the experience of the mental into the path of letting go. How is it that as we inhale, we could perceive our mind's functions quite clearly? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, they could feel as non graspable as a real or imagined seed suitability of light. Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi, Umara Bazanadi. 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 We now come to our second and final silent meditation of the morning. This bliss and letting go is known by many names, such as Completion Stage Tantra, Anu Yoga, Bindu Mahamudra, and Tikle's Drop.
Their nudity reminds us of the vulnerability that is required for the practice of mindfulness. Their translucence reminds us of the non-graspability that reminds us that as we relax into our exhalation, whatever we notice during our inhalation could feel as non-graspable as a vast empty void. Their beauty reminds us that mindfulness and meditation free us from the tyranny of fear and have restore us to empathy, which really is our neurological birthright. The stability with which he sits reminds us of reminds us of centeredness, and the abandon with which she sports reminds us of spontaneity. As we breathe in, let us silently and mentally recite the verb feel. As we exhale, let us silently and mentally recite the adjective emptiness.
and then let us seal our practice with a closing chant. Mythical magical powers and supreme attainments of all enlightenment be bestowed upon all sentient beings and myself. For one's heart may light emit and reflect the... Let's try this again. For one's heart may light emit and reflect upon this lotus he causing it to absorb within oneself. Through all recitation and meditation, may all sickness, poverty, and warfare subside everywhere. And may all dharma and good omens increase. If you feel that I have earned it, you could uh, type something in the chat window. You could give this live stream a thumbs up. You could share it with a friend. You could even support this channel on Patreon. Either way, in approximately a two and a third hours, I intend to return to lead today's mid-morning meditation. Until then, may you and yours be happy and healthy. And if you are as geeky as me, this is the way.